Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this C sharp uh, tutorial, basically I will be teaching you how to convert objects to JSON, JSON to JSON string, and vice versa. So we'll be learning all about JSON. All right, so let's get started. So uh, give me one sec, please. Okay, so we'll create a new .NET project right from scratch. So I'm gonna uh, say the command .NET, and I'm gonna say new console output and we'll say obj json the codes the code is there on my github account so make sure to check that out all right so let's do this uh so here you can see it's being installed right uh but we need to download one dependency okay uh that is um new newton soft json right um I, i'll talk about it don't worry i'm gonna go right from scratch assuming you don't know anything okay so Let's go to the folder and see that the project was created, right? So here you can see the project is created, right? Uh, oops, clear CD. Let's just do a dot net run to make sure everything is fine, right? Uh, let's do this. Dot net run. So it's basically gonna print hello world, right? Nothing new. And then we'll install the packages, right? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to install the package on uh, Visual Studio. Sorry, VS Code. Visual Studio Code, right? Hello world. Okay, so it just works, right? So uh, we'll go to this uh, dependency folder, and on your um, if you are on Windows, press. Uh, I think it should be Control Shift and P or Control P, right? On the Mac, it's Command Shift and P, right? So I'm gonna take my cursor here, Command Shift P. Now you have to say a new get NuGet. I'm gonna select OK. Uh, whoops, what happened? Oh, it actually opened. <laughs> All right, so let's say a new get new git. Hit enter. Now the package name would be Newton Soft. Sorry, is it Newton? Sorry, Newton Soft. Whatever. Ha. Huh? That's a little weird name. So hit enter. Right. <laughs> so the first one. Right. So you wanna say oh, right. Then the version 12.0.3. And where do you wanna download? So we'll download this in our uh, YouTube. folder so now if you see uh, here you can see it's uh, included that package right it's easy right not a big deal okay we have that okay now uh, let me go to the class right here okay so now i'm going to create a, a basic very basic um, basically a json or an object let's say a person right uh, the person of, of course will have a first name and a last name i'm going to create a very simple example as i said so let's do public um, string first name uh, get set all right and similarly i will say public string last name and i'm going to say the get the set right So that's done. That's the uh, very basic steps, right? So once that is done, um, now it's piece of cake. <laughs> okay. So we need to import that library also. Okay. So we can say from uh, basically not from uh, C sharp is using uh, Newton Soft. Uh, I think just want to get the spelling correctly. So would be using. and i would say using newton soft dot json right so i want to use this package right now to convert this is just easy so first you need to create an object so i'm going to say where op uh, where op is equal to i'm going to say new to create a new object right uh, person right so uh, i'm creating a new object of person right now basically i want to define these um, attribute of a person so instead of this oops my bad i would say curly braces and here i would say first name and i would say equal to samil and don't forget the comma okay i would say last name sha and once that is done what i can do is basically now i can call the newton whatever package manager so var i'm going to say json string the first i'm going to teach you to convert into a json string and then into a json right so what we'll do is basically we'll say json right we'll say json we'll say convert dot serializer so s e r i a l i z e serialize sorry serialize um, right and we'll say object 
and then we we'll just have to pass that object like this okay so let's uh, do cw for shortcut tab to auto complete right and let's print print that json string and if i run this hopefully dot dot net run and i should see the json string basically it's a json string all right i have a small issue let's correct that so it says expected 35 uh yeah yeah i forgot the 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 semi the semicolon uh with that uh, small issue <laughs> now let's run that again and you should see the json uh, string hopefully if uh, everything is okay it's taking a while to compile and here you can see we have our json string it's not json okay it's a json string so um if you want to convert this into json dynamic uh, let me write it down so here you can see that's json string right now we want to convert into json object so json convert dot deserialize object and the json string right and um, hopefully there are no errors or issues and uh, let me just make sure all right we have an issue the name json string does not exist okay so whoops there you go all right uh, let's see Uh, hopefully now it should print the json and the json string all right then no no more issues so let's do console uh, system dot console dot uh, sorry system dot console dot write line and um, oops call the json object right there and i'm gonna run this uh, and see so now if you run this now it's actually converted this into json right so you can access it using a dot operator which i'm gonna prove it in a point in a while so i'm gonna do say so here you can see now the it's a uh, change right so I'm gonna now access this first name, right? Do a dot net run, and if you see, I'll get Samuel now because uh, when it's a JSON, you can access it using a dot operator. So you you can convert the JSON string into JSON using JSON convert dot deserialize, right? So here you can see, uh, sure enough, it works. So uh, that's it for this video. This was all about the Newton soft uh, library uh, in C sharp. We learned how to create a very simple object. We learned how to create that object into a JSON string, JSON string to JSON and so on. If you have any more questions or concerns, please um, let me know by doing that in the comment section below. And if you have enjoyed this video, a simple like would be really very appreciated. Um, if you have any more suggestions or comments, please list them in the comments again. Um, and as usual, thank you for your love and support. Uh, keep smiling, keep coding and see you guys in the next video.